the ancient Mayans hammered seashells into their jaws to replace missing teeth. That probably hurt. Those seashells were likely the first dental implants. Today, titanium tooth implants fill the gaps nicely. And of course, they're screwed in, not hammered. In the middle of the 20th century, it was discovered that titanium is a metal that bonds with bone. It revolutionized restorative dentistry, making enduring tooth implants possible. To make these implants, they start with a solid titanium rod. This four meter rod will be used to make more than 200 implants. The technician inserts the rod in a long holding device, which keeps it straight as it feeds it into a lathe system. The titanium rod spins as computerized tools slim it down and cut threads into it. These threads will help anchor the implants in the patient's jaw. The lathe pushes the rod out and then pulls it back in repeatedly to assist the shaping process. A tool now grips the implant while another cuts it to length. Then a computerized drill hollows out the implant and carves threads inside for attaching the ceramic tooth. In minutes, a solid metal cylinder becomes a hollowed and threaded implant. A robot now retrieves the implant from a colleague and transfers it to a cleaning station and then over to what's known as a vision measuring system. Here, a camera takes pictures of the implant from all angles and sends the images to a computer for analysis. The computer confirms the dimensions are exactly right. Then the robot collects the implant and places it in a slot in a tray. Once filled with implants, a technician screws a mesh lid on the tray and slides it into a metal basket. This holds them steady for cleaning in a special washing machine known as a vapor degreaser. Inside, solvent vapors envelop the parts to clean off residual lubricant oils used during the cutting process. An implant is transferred to a holding device, which secures the implant for the next robot to press a plastic collar onto it. This collar is temporary. It will serve as a mask to protect the outside of the implant as the top undergoes a process of colorization. The robot places the implant upside down in a mild acid and then an electrical charge is applied. Different colors will appear at different voltages to color code the part and indicate the diameter. The process is called anodizing. The masking color now comes off. Then implants are taken to another tray and screwed in. This prevents them from falling off as machinery turns the tray upside down to immerse the implants in acid and anodize the exterior. This time the anodizing serves another purpose. It changes the surface to make it more porous. This will improve the bonding of the patient's jawbone to the implant. The implant sparkles in a solution as it undergoes a transformation. Here's the new porous surface magnified by a microscope. A robot transfers the dental implants to another tray. They're now ready for a final cleaning. They go into a tank full of hot purified water. A generator sends high frequency sound waves into the water, creating bubbles and waves that gently scrub the implants. After sterilization, these titanium dental implants are ready to take root in human jaws. The clinician screws the implant into the patient's jawbone and then secures a made-to-match ceramic tooth to it. Over time, bone will fuse with this artificial tooth, providing a long-lasting tooth replacement and giving the patient every reason to smile. Open wide.